हेलो एवरीवन वी विल कंटिन्यू द टॉपिक सिलेक्शन स्क्रीन और इनपुट स्क्रीन एंड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी डिस्कस्ड दैट देर आर टू वेज टू प्रोवाइड द इनपुट विद द हेल्प ऑफ सिलेक्शन स्क्रीन और इनपुट स्क्रीन द फर्स्ट वे इज पैरामीटर एंड द सेकेंड वन इज सेलेक्ट ऑप्शन देर आर ऑलवेज ऑलवेज टू वेज to pass a input to the program with the help of parameter or with the help of select option firstly we will dig down into parameter we all know that parameter accept a single input with the help of parameters you can pass a single input what we will do we will create a program and in that program we will take a single input for order number we know whenever we want a single input we will always always make we will always take the help of parameters so what i will do i will go to sc38 transaction code and we will create a program we all know first name first word will be z or y first letter always is z or y suppose i am saying z p r g demo on parameters we are creating a sample program i go for create i will give the title suppose demo on parameters i will take the type as executable program i will save it as a local object i will activate the program now we will go for parameters we are taking a requirement that we will take a single input of order number single input of order number so if whenever i want a single input i'll go for parameters so for parameters the keyword is parameters itself now i will give some name to the parameter we discuss so many times a good programmer is one who always follows the best naming convention so i will always always start the parameter name with p underscore it is your wish you can give any name but we should always always follow the best naming convention suppose i am saying p underscore i am writing suppose o n o you can give any name now i am writing type i am writing type now in the previous video we discussed so many times that what is the best way what is the best way to declare something name type data element name because we all know ultimately data element has what domain domain has what data type and length so the best way is always always take help of data element now this is my order header table and what is the data element for order number this is the data element for order number i will paste and i will put dot we all know every line ended with a dot so this is our parameter name and it is of this particular type this is data element whenever i will double click on to this data element this data element has a domain domain is of what numeric 10 it means p underscore o n o is of which type it is of numeric type and it has a length of 10 now we will just go for best understanding here we have always two things what is first thing data object and what is second thing data type what is data object which hold the data which hold the value whenever we will run the program we will give the input through parameter we will give the input value through parameter 
so it means this is what this is a data object and what is this this is a data type there is a complete interlink between data object and data type and we put so much stress always yes that whole thing is a game of two things data object and data type so this is your data object and this is your data type if i will go for the previous slides also for the data object at that time we put so much stress that parameter and select option are also one ways for the data object if i will go for the previous slide named data object you can see what are the various ways data already covered now you can see we are covering parameter and select option so what is parameter and select option they are also data object because they hold the data at the run time now what i will do i'll simply simply activate the program so i gave a input single input for the order number and what is the type and length of that order number numeric type and length of that now i will execute the program you can see this is my input screen or selection screen and we have a parameter and parameter accept how many value single value now we will go for a may end user perspective end user will end user or customer understand p underscore o and no he will never never understand he can only understand the description suppose i will go for simple example suppose we are using suppose make my trip dot com site rather than user name if u n is written so many people will not understand that un stands for username same thing is here many people will not understand that p underscore o n o is order number you need to give the input of order number so how how we need to give the description of this that p underscore o n o stands for order number so how i will give you simply simply always has to go for go to text element you can go for selection text go to text element selection text you can give suppose i am saying order number never never forgot to activate this part because i saw so many people provide this but they are not activating that part so because of that description will not be visible there now i am activating if i will go to back button and if i will run now you can see order number now customer can understand order number very easily now we have other way also suppose if i will go for go to text element selection text i am not giving the input i am telling sap that go for dictionary reference now what do you mean by dictionary reference have you seen when i declared p underscore o and no what we have written type name of data element what is data element data element tells how a field will be visible to end user you are giving the labels with the help of data element suppose if i will choose dictionary reference and i will go for activate you can clearly see order number automatically came i have not manually passed but from where it came it came from the data element because data element is all about the label suppose if i will go for data element if i will go to field label so this order number came from here came from here so it is totally your wish you want to pass manually or you are asking system that take from the dictionary reference dictionary reference means we created the data element 
through which transaction code SC11 is a BAP dictionary. So it will take the description from the SC11. It will take the description from the data element itself. Now, now we created a parameter for the order number and we put the type of that. I'm running the program. Okay. Now, how to make or how to pass a default value to this parameter. Now, we will study the various options available in parameter. Suppose customer is saying, I want a default value 1 for the order number. So, how you can give a default value to the parameter? We have a word default. We have a word default. Suppose I am saying 1. So whenever you are declaring a parameter and using default and you are putting some value, that will act as a default value there. If I am running the program, you can see we have the order number 1 is automatically coming. So you can give a default value to the parameter by using which particular keyword default. So what is the summary of the video or what we studied in this particular video? In this video, we studied how to go for parameters. To declare a parameter, the keyword is parameter. Yes, parameter, select option, all those are also data objects. Because they will hold the value, they will take the data, they will capture the value. So these are also data object. So data object type name of the data type. We gave the data type as what data element. We all know data element has a domain. Domain is what? The domain is all about technical characteristics. Technical characteristics means data type and the length. This is always, always the best way to give. After that, when we run the program, we got the technical name here, but end user will not understand that technical name. So how to give the description? You need to go for go to text element selection text. You can give the input manually or you can choose dictionary reference. Whenever you will choose dictionary reference, the ultimately the description will come from the data element because data element is all about the labels. Then we studied if you want to pass a default input to the parameter, you can pass through default keyword and you can give the input whatever the input you want to give. Now, in the next video, we will study more more options as a part of parameters. So that's it in this video. Thank you.